Bridge Thursday night game, Hard House Bridge Club, uh, ready to go for 24 boards. We got a win streak going again. That feels good. Um, but uh, we need to keep it up. Last time we started slow. This time we're going to start fast. So uh, no mistakes, huh? Alan and I, as you know, we play uh, precision. So strong club system, one club, artificial strong forcing. Um, we also uh, have a bunch of specific defensive agreements. As we play the hands, I'm going to talk you through my decision-making process and what our agreements are. Sometimes I'm just going to bid our agreement. Sometimes I'm going to make a decision. But either way, I'm going to explain it for you guys. Thanks for watching, whether you're watching a recording on YouTube or you're watching live on Twitch. All right. So, Alan opened two clubs, fourth seat. This bid shows uh, 11 to 15 points. He has six or more clubs. With just seven points, our prospects for game are very low. There's some specific hands he can have where it's making, but really, I would rather just pass and take the plus score here. Uh, holding four clubs, uh, two clubs making will be a good spot. If the opponents interfere, which they really shouldn't. If, if South passed in third seat, there's not really a reason to come in in, in in balancing position here. I would have competed up to three clubs for sure. But here, I'm happy we're buying the auction for two clubs. At most tables, I'm sure Alan's hand would open one club, giving the opponents a little more room to maneuver. So this could be a good board for us if our opponents, say, are making two spades and we're down in, in three clubs. So, let's see. What's the lead going to be? Looks like it's a heart. So Alad lied a bit about his hand. We play two clubs as showing six or more clubs. Here, Alad only has five. Um, the good news is that uh, we're still probably in the right spot. Uh, looks like one no trump on a heart lead is probably down one, if the uh, depending on, on uh, the lead, or, or depending on how Alad chooses to play on trick one. But uh, two clubs should be comfortably making here with just one heart loser, uh, two diamond losers, and two spade losers. There's not really that much to the hand at this point. Alan's going to pull a few rounds of trump and then start playing on spades. If clubs are 3-1, then he's in a good position with enough trumps in hand to pull all the trump and then play spades without worrying about anything like entries. So this is going to be two clubs making. Um, that's worth 90 points. One no trump making, which is another, uh, I would say, possible likely result, is also um, 90. So we'll be even with the people who are in one no trump here. Alad's being cute, and he's not taking out the last trump. The good news is that he doesn't really have to worry about it at this point, because he has high trumps in hand and in dummy, and he doesn't have any winners in a position to get trumped by South. I think Alad's probably hoping for some kind of mistake to be made by the opponents, but uh, I feel like they're unlikely to do that. And South does well just to exit a club here. Um, at this point, I think what Alad might do is uh, try to put pressure on the opponents and maybe make one drop their ace under their king or under lead an ace or under lead a king. Uh, but at match points, I think the opponents will probably figure out what to do pretty quickly. So the opponents have won all the tricks they're entitled to, and now Alan's claiming the rest. So two clubs making should be a fine board. Getting a plus score is always good. It's not as good as beating the opponents in maybe a, an overbid heart part score, because... Uh, but actually, because no, nobody's vulnerable, just getting plus score here is going to be fine. Um, I think that, uh, as you can see, a lot of people in two clubs. One of Trump makes two at some tables. Uh, I have a bad hand. It's 10 points, but uh, this shape is not a great shape. I'm going to pass. Uh, some people overbid. Uh, two hearts made four at one table, but I don't think it's uh, entitled to make four. Um, I think probably three or something. There's always, in hearts, there's always... Uh, Let's see, one heart loser, one spade loser, one diamond, and one club. But that being said, it's still uh, 
probably correct for the opponents to compete in hearts. It's just hard for them to find that because the hand with the long hearts has weak hearts. This is 10 to 14 points, and I don't have a bid over 1-0 no Trump um, just because my hand is uh, doesn't have an invite. It's a little too weak for that. And, and we should be inviting opposite a 10 to 14 no Trump as is, and I don't have a five-card suit to escape to. So I'm happy to pass 1-0 no Trump and hope that Alad can work his magic, take uh, eight tricks or something. So I want to double here, and I don't know if we have an agreement as to whether doubles penalty or takeout, but, um, or maybe it's a two card double, no. Okay, so he's penalty passing here. I would, but I would have been happy if he competed to the three level, but because of our combined strength, I'm okay with doubling here. Looks like South hit North with an incredible dummy, but uh, that being said, we can still beat this contract. It looks like Alad might have uh, not had a lot here. So. Um, I have to decide if I want to encourage clubs or discourage clubs. So um, I think that I want to discourage clubs, not because I don't have the queen, but because I'd rather him shift to diamonds, me holding queen 10. So I'm going to play the nine of clubs. And hopefully Alad will interpret that to mean play diamonds. So I'm counting his points right now. Alad has 10 to 14. And he showed up with the ace of clubs, very likely the king of clubs. The two of diamonds is a card I wanted to see. It's an attitude shift. So he has one of the ace or king. I suspect it's probably the king, because otherwise he would have just played the uh, played the ace. So here, uh, this sets up a diamond trick before perhaps it could be discarded on hearts. Uh, so I'm happy that we got the diamond shift in time. However, I'm not convinced that this contract is going down. So Alad's got uh, the king of diamonds, he's got the ace king of clubs, but that's still not very much. So I don't know how many spades Alad started with. I think that it might be good to pitch a club here. Um, I'm going to encourage clubs because I have the queen, just to let partner know that I have that card. We still have, I think, what looks like two diamonds and a club coming along with a heart. But that means the contract's making, not down one. So how do I best defend this? I think I need to bear my queen of clubs here. I think it's a good card here, but uh, I can't afford to be holding on to that. So I could consider holding up rounds and hearts. Um, but with the ace of spades and dummy, there's no need to do that. So I'm going to win my ace of diamonds, or ace of clubs, uh, win my queen of clubs, cross partner's king of diamonds, and then win my queen. So at this point, uh, it looks like South started with two clubs, three diamonds, five spades, and three hearts. And if that's the case, maybe I can work my magic. If, if But I don't know if that will let me succeed. Um, what I might need to do is, is play a diamond and force dummy to trump. And maybe Alad can discard a heart from his hand. Because I don't think... Yeah, making. OK, too bad. Oh, well, tough. So we found the right defense on that hand, but I, I just don't think there's a way we can beat it. Uh, it looks like a pretty easy make. Um, the question is, what should I have done instead of pass two spades? I could have bid something like two no trump, which would have been, I guess, Libensol. Now it would have gone three clubs. 
and then I probably end up passing. Three clubs is a good spot. We lose one diamond, we lose a heart, we lose a spade. We make four, as it turns out. Um, so the right place to be is clubs. But um, with our agreements, it's hard for Alan to know what my double means and uh, what my tuno trump would have meant. So we'll talk about that after the round, but unfortunately, defending two spades doubled was not the right call there. Uh, I don't blame Alad for for passing, but uh, looks like we we had a better we had a better place to be. And that is one heck of a dummy. All right, next hand. All right, so I've got 12 points. Um, I'm in fourth seat, though. So this is a, a tricky hand if it goes pass, pass, pass to me. It doesn't, so uh, let's focus on the hand in question and not hypotheticals. So I have uh, enough to compete if I want to make a double here. And uh, this is certainly a, a case where I would make a direct seat double as well as a balancing double here for takeout. Uh, guess he did catch partner with a solid dummy. Um, it's a big play to come in uh, two spades there, vulnerable and balancing seat. But it really worked out for him. All right, so partner's not answering my double with south jumping to four spades. And I don't have anything to bid again. I don't have a penalty double. So I'm defending four spades. And Alad is on lead. So the Ten of Hearts is led, and usually uh, we lead the second of Touching Honors. So this would promise the Jack. If Alad has five hearts to the Jack-10, then I need to play my Ace here to prevent the uh, Singleton King from winning a trick. Either way, I think playing my Ace is correct. After playing my Ace, I have a tough choice to make. It's continue hearts. Hope partner could, in theory, have King-Jack-10. Or I could shift to clubs, uh, try to catch my Ace. Hopefully cashing out in that case would, would result in success. So looking at the spade situation, uh, South probably has a very long solid suit, and I need to decide uh, what is the most likely scenario going on there. So in reality, I don't think the diamonds are going to run by themselves, but the spade might serve as an entry to the diamonds. So what am I going to do about a possible diamond running hand. I'm going to win my ace of hearts. So there's that king of hearts dropping. Okay, so that's the situation there. Um, I think there's always a way to dummy. So I'm going to try to cash out in my side suits first. See if partner encourages. So that's a discouraging sign. He doesn't have the king of clubs. Or if he does, he's got king, 10, 9, something like that. And declare has the 8 and 7. Does declare have 8, 7 of clubs? Maybe. But there's no harm in playing another round of clubs here. So uh, the eight should be uh, the present count in the suit. We still haven't seen the seven. I don't know where it is. There's a good chance that... Uh, Well, there's three more clubs out. I don't know where they are. So here, I'm going to just go high, low, to say I have the Queen of Hearts, in case partner cares about that. So it looks like a six-card solid spade suit. So in addition to those six spades and the King of Clubs, uh, Declare has some number of diamonds coming. And that nine of spades is always an entry. 
So here, um, I, uh, I'm going to drop the 10 to give count. But I think that uh, the it might be Jack Small in their hand. OK, so here we're doing the club rough instead. Club rough is always there. Leading the trump doesn't take that away. The jack of clubs there implies to me that the, uh, well, that's the seven, right? We're still off um, one more club spot. So I'm going to fly queen here. The jack of diamonds is, it's not clear whose hand that is in. Playing the 10 of diamonds there instead of a low diamond. Uh, if South started with uh, Jack, ace, jack, third of diamonds, might encourage uh, Declare to try pinning my other high, other middle diamond. But uh, Declare only had two diamonds, so it was irrelevant. I think I'm winning the last trick with my queen of clubs. So this should be a good result because I think Declare can set up the diamonds and use the spade as an entry to. Uh, win two diamond tricks. And I think they're, they will always blast to four spades with those cards. All right, next hand. I have a 12 count and three hearts. It's aceless, but it's pretty good. I've got uh, lots of high cards. My question is, do I want to play this in hearts? This is almost a hand where it's better to play in no trump than it is to play in hearts. Um, I could consider not game forcing, but I think I'm just going to bid three no trump. I've got spades double stop. I've got a good heart fit, and we might have five running heart tricks, and I've got good cards in the side suits. This is a hand where we could get an edge on the people in, uh, what's the other, in four hearts. So I have to not misplay this one. Looking here, them only taking 10 tricks in spades is not great, but uh, they managed to bid four spades, which most people actually, well, it's a split. Some people found it, some people didn't. Um, so how does five, how does four hearts do for one? Four hearts pretty clearly is off two red aces and the uh, king of spades. Not a lot to be done about that. Three no trump is probably off the same tricks. Um, the question is, do I let this go around to my queen, or do I throw in the jack? Throwing in the jack will encourage a cover. Uh, and I want them to cover so that I have spades set up quickly. So I'm playing the jack. I think north will play the king. And I'm going to drop my four here, just in case uh, north thinks that the three is from three, two, instead of the singleton three, which is what it looks like to me. That's the ace of diamonds. So I don't have to guess in diamonds now, but um, upside down had to. Okay, I don't know where the four of diamonds is. We'll probably see it here. So we're missing the four and the two of diamonds. So I think the jack of diamonds will probably win at finesse. Is there any reason not to finesse here? Um, I don't think so. Okay, maybe there was a reason not to finesse. So at this point. Um, I uh, I do have an ace of hearts to knock out. So there's the two of diamonds. Maybe she plays different agreements with this partner. And uh, I'll throw off a club. There's the 10. Okay. And here... I'll just quickly knock out that ace of hearts. Had I not played the um, a jack of diamonds there, when North got in with the ace of hearts, she could have played a diamond through uh, my then jack small. I have the rest of the tricks. 
Um, and I think my seven of diamonds was good at that point, actually. Um, so I can claim a beer there. Was it? No. Okay, the nine of nine of diamonds is still out, so I, I can't claim a beer. Uh, that should be a good score. Um, it looks like four hearts is uh, making, of course. The problem was that the diamond shift was a smart shift, of course. Um, they did well to. Uh, they did well to shift to the diamond there. So yeah, needs a spade lead, and then uh, a diamond shift to hold it to three. They did very well to find it, but of course with the singleton dummy, it's not that hard to find. And uh, yeah, so how does four hearts do? I think there's no way to beat four hearts. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's held to four on something like an ace of diamonds lead. Now that I at least are on the same page. <clears throat> Actually, I'm just looking at their hands. Uh, North overcalled on a four card suit. South led the three from five three doubled in. That's a surprise. That would explain why spades weren't continued. In part. I think the normal call with the, with the north hand is probably a takeout double of one heart rather than one spade. You don't mind your partner bidding diamonds or clubs with your hand. And you don't want partner raising with three small spades. So we're only at 33%. That's not good. We'll catch up. No, they have not. How do you just bid two spades with that hand? You've got such a good hand. It's 20 high card points and six spades. Oh, and aces and kings all over. Partners and one no Trump. I've got four points. We'll see if this is good. Alad had 15. That's fine. Uh, we have a couple spade stoppers, but no diamond stoppers. We do have a 4-4 four, four heart fit, which is impossible to find playing a strong no Trump. Now, how is Alad going to tackle this hand? Um, if the opponent switched to diamonds, and diamonds are 4-4, four, four, the opponents are going to take four diamond tricks and the ace of spades, that's five tricks. And they're also going to take the ace of hearts, that's six tricks. So our opponents are do at least six tricks, um, regardless of any other splits happening. Uh, if the jack of hearts doesn't fall on the king-queen, then they're going to win that trick as well. And even if we do get uh, three heart tricks and two spade tricks, that's five, the ace-king of clubs are, are six-seven. We then have to dodge a 5-3 diamond break. Uh, so this contract is very shaky. Uh, needs a lot of luck. The good news is that the opponent starting with the spade suit is friendly for us. Um, I hope that 
we get another spade continuation rather than a diamond shift because a diamond shift is uh, at least four tricks right away for the defense. The club shift is, is somewhere in between. I don't think that club is from queen jack nine, so there's no hope in playing the 10 there. Um, but there's no way to get to dummy at this point unless the jack of hearts falls under the queen. What are the odds of that? Probably pretty low. So if I were Alet, I would just go for it. Play the queen of hearts, hope the jack of hearts shows up. If he might try something sneaky, he might try playing a diamond up, hoping that the opponents will keep playing clubs as a result. So the jack of hearts does show up, and uh, our luck means that this contract's making. We can win the nine of hearts, the ten of hearts, the queen of spades, and the king of clubs for four more tricks. Uh, did we deserve to make this? Sure. We bid normally. The defense could have taken at least four diamond tricks off the top, and they didn't touch them after a couple of opportunities. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily a mistake, but uh, Alad didn't do anything wrong here. Now, Alad should not get greedy here. Looks like both opponents are holding on to holdings in, in clubs. Just cash out. Maybe the queen will show up. No? Okay. So you remember what I said earlier about you're not going to lead the nine from queen jack nine? I'd lied. Clever play. Um, but Alad could have put in the 10 there and, and had a, a big, goofy smile. If he'd held something like king 10, then he's always playing the 10 there, and uh, it works out badly for the opponents. All right, so ace, king, and a diamond uh, yield an, an immediate down one. So we should finally get a good board for change. Just looking there, uh, looks like everybody else is in no trump by south. Um, I guess uh, a lot of Norths open the bidding with a pretty good 12 count. So maybe we'll, we'll start catching up after a couple of terrible rounds. So south with probably a week two in hearts and Alad on the hot seat. He doesn't like passing. Uh, and with five points here, I'm guessing he doesn't have a pass. Uh, I have two spades, so he probably has spade length. I'm expecting a two spade bid by Alad. Uh, three diamonds is interesting. Uh, it's not spades, it's not a double. Uh, I'm putting north with a lot of spades here. Um, but even though I have three diamonds, I don't have support for him, uh, for Alad. It's just too weak of a hand. Here comes four hearts. Uh, and do I have any kind of call over four hearts? Do I have a penalty double of four hearts? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I can make any call of any kind. Uh, and I don't think this is a forcing pass situation either. Um, though I'm sure Alad will correct me after the fact. Here's four spades. So Alad had diamonds and spades and decided to bid it like this. Uh, I can't I can't pass four spades here. But do I want to take it to five diamonds and risk that? I guess I do have clear preference, but it's a higher level. I have to I have to I have to take preference. Uh, if he has four spades, the ace king, this is worth two roughs, and, and that's worth it. But his hand is too weak to double and bid. It's too weak to bid um, Leaping Michaels. So I'm really worried about this. I don't think this is going to make. I can't picture a hand that Alan has where this is a good spot. Um, he's got a nice hand, but it's still not good enough. Um, 
we have uh, at least a spade loser, two club losers, probably a diamond loser. Alad quickly playing that seven of diamonds. Uh, and I, I can't penalty double four hearts. It looks like four hearts is making. I'm glad I didn't pass four spades, though. So I think the reason that Alad decided to bid the way he did is because... Um, The reason Alan decided to bid the way he did is because he has uh, six diamonds and four spades. With Leaping Michaels, uh, he would have at least five in both. And this auction showed significantly longer diamonds than spades. So I'm glad he took preference, even though there's a very good chance this contract is is down. I think he can still make it if diamonds end up being very friendly. Like, uh, what's it? Singleton King. At this point, we're down to Singleton King hopes in terms of making this contract, and I don't think that's happening. We've seen South show up with, uh, what, an outside ace? Um, are we lucky again? No. That's too bad. If we get a heart continuation for some reason instead of a spade, then we can pitch all the spades on the clubs, but otherwise we're down two. Or, yeah, is it down one or two? Uh, down two. Here it's uh, down two. Tough. Definitely not a forcing pass position there where I'm a passed hand. He's limited by the fact he didn't double and um, North hadn't passed. There's a very good chance these, the North has just constructively been in game, and and that was the case here. Uh, but Alla didn't bid on because he had a forcing pass, and he had bid on because he had a lot of shape, and thought that we might have a chance in five diamonds. As you can see, uh, what was the the bid that they bid up to? They bid up to four hearts, right? And there's only one way to play hearts, so there's no heart losers, uh, there's no club losers, there's one spade loser and one diamond loser. Four hearts makes five. So um, they can bid five, bid make five hearts, but that's still not quite 500. Since we have some time, what is precision? So Alad can do the typing here and explain what precision is. But precision is a system where uh, you open one club, and one club is strong and artificial. You bid it with 16 or more points, and any other one-level bid is limited to 15 or so. And that allows you to do two things. One is your one-level bids that are not one club because they're limited in how strong they are, uh, allow you to start from a little bit lower. Uh, and your descriptive range is still narrower than it would be if it was 12 to 21, it being 11 to 15. That lets you do things like get in and out of the auction very quickly uh, when both hands are limited. And the other thing it does is it lets you bid some of the big hands opposite uh, another fairly strong hand more slowly than if it had started with two clubs with 22 plus points or one something response jump to the three level you already know the strength of the hand the downside well there's a few downsides but one of them is that in a lot of cases it takes you a little bit longer for the opener to describe their shape and the way we play precision if partner has what we call a positive response, that is eight or more points opposite of one club opening bid, opener will actually virtually never describe their shape. They will, in fact, just ask responder about what their shape is and then use that shape and the location of responder's high cards and the amount of responder's high cards to place the final contract. Uh, and that can, uh, that concealing that information from the defense can make contracts easier to make because they have no idea what the clear is holding. Um, and that's that's perfectly legal, and it's it just requires a lot of preparation to have a bidding system that lets you do that. So there's, there's positives and there's negatives. Uh, the fact that you can't immediately start with a strong no trump on a lot of hands or uh, start with one of a major when you've got 16 to 21 points means that there's hands where a natural or a two over one bidding system does better. But we enjoy playing precision. We like the relays and being able to get in and out really quickly with a lot of weak, shapely hands. 
So somehow that wasn't a bottom board. We moved up a little bit to 35%. I still think we'll do well tonight, but we've got uh, a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, other people were uh, doing similar things, as you can see. Uh, somehow uh, somebody managed to take 13 tricks and hearts north-south. That seems difficult. Uh, you need to, I think, hold up twice on spades and then get the ace roughed out. Next hand, I have four spades and uh, six or more points, so I have a response to partners one heart opening bid. Do I have an action here? No, I'm going to pass. This looks to be a hand where the passing approach is better than the bidding on approach. Uh, here, uh, maybe we could have made three clubs. But three clubs is certainly not a to play bid. It's it's stronger than that. And a valid starts with winning the ace of clubs and then going ace of hearts, king of hearts, and a heart. If hearts are four three, he's pretty well positioned to make this hand, and they're very likely to be four three. Yes, uh, harsh duality. Uh, definitely pass before the doubling starts. Somebody probably is sitting with a, a heart stack here, which explains sort of the passivity of the opponents. Um, we have a, uh, and if I'm, I, I may be counting incorrectly, maybe I missed trick one. No, that was a club. The opponents have a 10 card spade fit with the top six spades. So, um, even though they are, you know, off a couple heart tricks and a couple club tricks in the spade contract, the fact that they're passing, uh, is what I would call curious. So there's exactly one high outstanding heart here. Um, I assume a spade is coming back and now it's going to trump it. So the question is, do you play clubs or do you play a heart? Normally with only one outstanding trump, you play the side suit, wait for them to trump in, and then you win the rest of your tricks and your trumps. This is a hand where I think Alad might decide to do something else. And the reason is that there's only one entry to the clubs. Uh, if he starts on clubs right away, the next club might get trumped and then he doesn't have a ticket to dummy and he'll get forced out in spades and eventually lose some spade tricks. So I think what Alad's going to do is duck a heart here. Um, depending on who has the long heart, he might pitch a diamond or a club from dummy. So here uh, he is pitching the diamond, which can be a risk, um, but I think North might, uh, yeah, North is probably gonna play some kind of diamond here. Oh, no, it's the queen of, queen of spades. So Alad is nervous about a 4-1 club break, but uh, I think he's going for it. Spades are very likely to be 5-5. Um, here, North has got a second club. So fortunately, uh, unless clubs are 4-1 the other way. Okay, good. So the clubs are running and we lose a diamond at the end, making three. The opponents can do a little better on defense if they... Well, I don't know where the ace of diamonds is, but I suspect that shifting to diamonds earlier on would have yielded a lot more tricks for the defense. Alternatively, they could have killed the entry to dummies clubs earlier. But the fact that they didn't suggests, oh, wow, the Ace of Diamonds was in South's hands. So, um, yeah, they can do a little bit better if they if they play Diamonds earlier. Um, I think the best thing to do is actually to play a club the first time they get in with hearts, killing a dummy. So making three should be a good result. Yeah. All right, next hand. I've got eight, and uh, partner's got a one-spade opening bid, 10 to 15. And I think that this is a perfect semi-forcing one of Trump response. Um, semi-forcing means partner will bid on unless he has a balanced minimum. Here, balanced being no doubletons, uh, no outside four-card suit. Sorry, no, no, no singletons, no outside four-card suit, and 10 to 12 points. With more, he'll bid on. So the three-spade bid shows what I would call an absolute maximum and uh, at least six spades. And opposite that, I'm actually tempted to go four spades. I think my hand is just strong enough to go four. So if it's uh, 15 opposite eight, normally that's a little shorter game. 
but I've got control. So I've got the Ace of Diamonds, I've got the King of Spades. The Ten of Spades is a working card here. And uh, if the Diamonds end up running, I've got an entry in the Hearts. And so that can provide some value. If Partner has some bulk in the Hearts suit, we might get value out of that. So I'm going to go with Four Spades here, and we'll see how Allard plays it. It's a slow pass. Yes, so I agree harsh duality. Um, when we're vulnerable, I tend to alert it or announce it as 11 to 15, but non-vulnerable, it's it's 10 to 15 at this point, even though I'm, I'm passing probably half of all 10 counts in those situations. Um, I, I do find that uh, it just honestly describes the bidding better. Um, so that doesn't mean we won't bid it with nine, but uh, in terms of expectation, it starts pretty much at 10 with a good suit or 10 with, with some nice shape. The three, the 10, the eight, and the five, the 10 holds. Uh, ugh. Hi, Casper. What could be going on here? So in terms of fit, my partner's hand is actually a bad fit for mine. The 10 of spades is useful. It's one a trick here. But my king jack small of hearts is opposite a singleton. Uh, my three low clubs are opposite uh, a club suit with a lot of holes. And the ace of diamonds seems to be worth basically just the ace of diamonds at this point. I find it unlikely that John would lead a low spade from king doubleton. So the spade is probably from uh, king third. Um, the good news is that the diamond loser has a spot on the king of hearts. The bad news is that there's still up to three club losers on this hand. With the free finesse, Allen's taking the hook now so that he doesn't have to worry about that later. Um, we'll see if that was from a doubleton, and Allen's going to hit himself in the head if it was, but it's not. Okay, so no reason not to throw a club at this point, but I think he might throw a diamond. We'll see. Okay, so with what looks to be five spades, the king of hearts, that's six. The two minor suit aces is eight. He needs to manufacture two more tricks. Uh, maybe in the diamond suit, if there's a favorable lie, he might run the queen and then nine to the 10, hoping for a, a nice lie in that suit. Or he'll pitch the diamond loser, play on clubs, hope for a favorable position, and then win the 13th club, if clubs are, say, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I think that probably it's slightly more likely that he'll get a good lie in the diamond suit. The problem is entries. He doesn't have enough entries to finesse twice in clubs. He doesn't have enough entries to uh, lose a diamond. Oh, well, he could play the queen of diamonds. And then if diamonds are 3-3, three, three, duck, and then win a second round. I think he's going to play on diamonds rather than clubs here. So if north covers, Alad might just duck. the location of the jack of diamonds and the distribution of the opponent's diamonds is going to determine whether this contract makes. So Allah gets a free ticket to dummy with the heart play, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't really have anything to do in dummy at this point. When he plays a club up, south of south holds king queen can always interpose with one of those cards. And I don't think Allah has hope in playing on the club suit at this point. Seeing the queen there, it seems very likely to me that South has the uh, high club. So Alan's going to pitch a diamond first. Um, and then he's going to play another spade and make a decision as to what he wants to throw from dummy. Uh, there would be a squeeze here if... Okay, so uh, both of the opponents have pitched diamonds. There's only two outstanding diamonds. Where are those diamonds? I don't know... Uh, I suspect South might be holding both of them and the King of Clubs. And that would result in, yeah, so so that's bad. Alad needs to just win his Ace of Diamonds, play a diamond to the Jack, and then South is going to win the King of Clubs. Unfortunately, that means that 
playing on cl oh okay so south played queen from queen small there so there really was no hope of making this contract all the clubs are offside the jack of diamonds is offside the diamonds are four two the king of spades is offside at least the ace of hearts is onside but it doesn't end up mattering I suppose the opponents might always just let him back in with the King of Hearts. Um, it depends, really. I, I think that if it went Queen, King, Ace, and then forcing out the Jack, uh, this hand would probably switch to the Queen of Clubs um, rather than play Hearts. Just seeing the fact that the Diamonds are set up by that point, and Alad's already shown out of Hearts. So if there's a Queen of Clubs switch, Alad probably wins the ace, and then after maybe playing a spade or two, has to duck a, duck a club, uh, and then north will get the king ten of clubs. So north will get the king of ten of clubs, south will get the jack of diamonds, and they've already won the ace of hearts and king of spades. So I think it's the same result in the end. Yeah, no, the line gave him a shot, and I, I don't think four spades is unreasonable there. Um, unfortunately, Alad's hand just wasn't a great fit for mine. Um, Shifting around a few cards in Alad's hand makes this uh, makes this pretty much a lock. Like if, if instead of the Queen of Diamonds, it was the Singleton Queen of Hearts, uh, normally that makes your hand worse. But in this case, two extra pitches is better, I think. Diamond, club, spade. Yeah, it's better. So. Mm. Yeah. They, yeah, they can afford to, to duck the nine of clubs there. Would they... Probably not. So we had a good board, but then we blew it again, bidding a, an aggressive game on this last one. With every card offside, we are now at 39.2%. 39.2% is about half of what we normally are this, this time in the evening, so... I'm going to keep drinking. We are one third of the way through the night. We are under 40%. And I'm having fun. So this is a 10 count. Is this good enough to open? I really don't like the fact that there's no intermediates. It's just 10. The heart suit's bad. I'll pass. If partner has a five card spade suit, he'll open in fourth seat probably. And if he doesn't, maybe this isn't our hand. Uh, have I noticed the bizarre carding today? Yeah, I have. I like leading from bottom of doubletons into partners four card overcall. It's been it's been pretty wild. <laughs> Kevin's the director, so he he knows all about the the carding of the opponents. Um, I'm not going to bid a fit jump. We play fit jumps here, but my heart suit's too bad to do that. So I'm going to bid two hearts here, which is actually a good spade raise. That's a pass. Do I want to choose to defend here? I think my hand's a little too good for that, um, to defend a non-doubled three-level contract. And, and South seems to have a, a long, good club suit to be bidding on his own. There's no reason not to bid three spades here. Partner, if he has any high cards, has them over South. And I don't have a penalty double myself with three clubs. All right. I wonder how bad partner's overcall is. It's actually really good. He's got he's got a really nice suit. Um, yeah. Well, counting losers here, it looks like three's probably correct if the opponents can figure out early enough to switch to the Trump suit. But no, Alad can always uh, Trump clubs and dummy. Yeah, second seat unfavorable. It's certainly at match points. Nobody's opening this hand. And so you would not want to open this hand if you want to stay with the field. Uh, even playing precision, 
uh, and you can dip a little lower, it's still not a great hand to open. So um, happy to pass it. Though Alan and I do have the agreement that we open technically all 12 counts, uh, or sorry, all 11 counts. Though I have been known to pass an 11 count or two. So I'm counting partner's points. He's got 11 high. I have uh, 10 high. I don't think there's going to be a ton of people in game here. So the object of the hand is going to be how many over tricks can you make? The opponents haven't figured out to switch trumps yet. I think they will after Alad plays a diamond to the jack. Uh, beside, oh. Oh. Yikes. If he trumps low here, and I think he will, we have the, the top seven trump. So at this point, it's a high cross rough. Alad, knowing there's high cross rough, is going to cash his outside card before embarking on this expedition. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I will say that we're only eight hands in. If we were 22 hands in, I would say all bets are off. If we're certainly sitting at 39%. Things get wilder when you're below the 40s. Mm. That was a good cookie. This should be a good score. 200. And uh, I don't know if three clubs is making, um, but I think it might make, uh, it might only be down one. I, Alad obviously hasn't played spades yet, so I don't know what the break is. Yeah, so uh, we do have a chance of beating three clubs. Um, looks like clubs is taking eight or nine tricks, depending. So bidding three spades was the right call. Now, three spades does have company there, so it's not a top, but... Uh, Finally, a good board. All right. So we play a 14 to 16 no trump, but with five spades, I'm going to open one spade. Here, partner can bid a semi-forcing no trump if he wants, and then I'm going to call two clubs, which can be as few as two and shows either four clubs or a uh, relatively strong balanced hand, which is sort of that 13 to, to 15 range. Mike with a strong no trump overcall. Now, a lot of newer players don't know to double with nine points when your opponent makes a strong no trump overcall, but you gain a lot of match points uh, from doubling those contracts rather than trying to bid naturally in those cases. Here, uh, I've already bid my hand once. It should be fine on defense. Partner with the spade lead. With a doubleton spade, he would have led the top of a doubleton. I suspect this three is probably a singleton spade because I don't know how eager Mike is to bid with a doubleton spade, one no trump. Counting points, if Mike has 15 and Kevin has six and I have 14, that leaves Alad with five, six, 14, 15, five. Yeah, so... I'm putting in the queen here. No, sorry, the jack. This will force out the ace. Uh, most players holding ace-king are going to play the ace. Um, or I should say most competent players. So that's uh, that's like a reverse smith or something. He doesn't like spades. I can buy that. I, I'm, a, I'm a subscriber to the... Alad has a... Oh, wow. So I'm going to let partner hold uh, the nine of clubs there. And here, with because I started with queen, jack, nine, I'm going to overtake, even though I think Alad now started with three to the 10. Um, he would have led the 10 from 10 doubleton. So I have two clubs and three spades coming. He's going to duck, but it's not going to matter. And at that, at that point, I have to decide how I want to continue to defend the hand. Alad showed up with one point. I know he has... Uh, 
five or, or what, I, what I'll call two to five points. And uh, that leaves him with probably the Queen of Diamonds. If he does in fact have the Queen of Diamonds and two clubs, then uh, it's bad for me to shift to the King of Hearts here. But if he has the Queen of Hearts, okay. I guess the, I guess the dilemma is if Kevin had running diamonds, he would have played on those right away. He's not playing on those. Because I have four tricks. Do I shift to my king of hearts? That's the question. And I think if I play a diamond, Kevin wins. He knocks out my ace of clubs. Say I run my spades. I'm stuck. If I play a heart, Kevin or Mike might win the queen. Three diamonds. Ace of hearts. No, he can't win three diamonds. I'm going to go with a low heart. Now, I could have afforded to play three spades first. But because I don't think he has enough running tricks in the red suits to make it, even if he wins the queen of hearts here, uh, I'm confident in playing a heart here to knock out that ace first. We might get a second under trick. Maybe. Who knows? Mike's thinking. He's probably holding a hand with uh, queen 10. That's right. And I'm going to put Alad with the Queen of Diamonds as well, just to make the point counts work. So that leaves Mike with two more diamonds to cash, along with the Ace of Hearts. So we might be able to beat this by two tricks. So there's the Ace of Hearts. Um, this kills the dummy. Now he's going to try playing on diamonds, I think. I don't know what his diamond holding is, but I, I think it's probably something like... Uh, well, he has three clubs, maybe three hearts, two spades. Maybe he has five diamonds of the ace king. So if partner has queen third of diamonds, uh, he's going to win the queen of diamonds on the third round. And then I'm going to throw my heart and claim the rest of the tricks. Oh, no. Oh yeah, he must have had four diamonds, the, the ace, king, queen, nine. So Alad should have the ten of diamonds at this point. And now I have the rest of the tricks. I'll let Alad play a card that's not a diamond, even though I don't think Alad has any diamonds left. Yeah, so there wasn't running diamonds for Mike, so I could afford to shift to hearts there. Might have been better to just cash my spades, but I, I didn't want to pressure partner's discards. So this worked. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking at the previous one. Yeah, first third fave on that other hand, I I, I would open bidding as well. It's uh it's a it's a ten count with a couple aces and a five card major, so you open it. But red, second seat, you don't. Let's see how the field does. One uh down one there is pretty good, but um other people are making it. Just looking at the lead there, the spade lead is a killing lead. Uh, though, of course, everybody's opening a spade there. And at this point, I could play my spades out, or I could shift to hearts. And I chose to shift to hearts, that worked.
The problem with playing spades out is that if Alad throws off his diamonds, Declarer makes the contract. So I didn't want to put him under that pressure. Here, I have a natural two club bid, uh, which I'm happy to make. <laughs> Three diamonds, that's a jump bid. For what it's worth, Alad doesn't always pause over jump bids. I don't know if I want to pass three diamonds here. Um, I feel like three diamonds is a little too good of a spot for them. I'm going to go four clubs here. I don't normally compete to the four level, but it's just... I've got three low diamonds. Partner's probably got a stiff diamond. Uh, they've got six diamond tricks coming. They've got, after knocking out my ace of hearts, a couple heart tricks probably. I'm sure that one of them is a club singleton. And partner's got some help in the spades. So I'm going to go four clubs here just to push them up a little bit. And uh, this will get us a little bit of an edge, hopefully. Jordan wants to know what Alad's double means. Okay, so... Um, the double that Alad made on this auction is called a takeout double. A takeout double is when you double, um, in, in its most basic form, a takeout double is when you double the opponent's opening bid. And that double says, I have support for the other three suits, partner, bid something. And so Alad's double of one diamond normally shows a hand that has relatively short diamonds, one or two, and then at least three cards, usually four, in the other three suits. And so it's on me to pick the level and the spot. And if partner has extras, they'll bid on. Uh, if partner has a very strong hand, uh, they might double regardless of the rest of their holding. But uh, I'm going to play this because I think I want a spade shift. Not a hard shift. Here, I don't know the exact details of Alad's. Uh, I'm encouraging of Alad's double, but he should have at least three clubs for his double, and that gives us at least a nine-card fit. And he should have at most two diamonds, which means I can trump one of my three diamonds in Alad's hand, and with South bidding diamonds a lot. I can probably trump two diamonds in Alad's hand. Uh, and uh, understanding what his shape is likely to be, what my shape is, and how the hand will play out informs the level to which I will bid and informs how likely it is that the opponents will make the contracts that they bid. So at this point, I think there's still a pretty good chance that the opponents are making their, um, their four diamonds. But... Four diamonds making and three diamonds making four are the same score. So having pushed them into four diamonds is a bit of a win in itself. The four of hearts is a discouraging card in hearts. That tells me he doesn't like hearts. Um, it also tells me that probably he's got four low hearts. Um, he may or may not have the queen of hearts. I don't know for sure. But he's not signaling anything in clubs. The king of spades there is telling me that South is probably out of spades at this point. Yeah. So South is now finishing pulling Trump. The difference between a negative double and a takeout double, well, they're actually very similar. And it's a little odd that there are different words for them. But the takeout double was invented first, and the negative double came second. So the... Negative double is when uh, your partner opens the bidding, your right-hand opponent overcalls in a different suit, and then you double. And then that double shows a hand that has the other two suits. Or if your opponent bid a major suit, then you're showing at least four cards in the other major, making five. Had they guessed wrong in hearts, it's only making four. 
But uh, yeah, you can see this, the field in diamonds is split between making four and five, but a lot of people are in uh, three no trump making by south. For what it's worth, four clubs is off, two spades, two clubs, a spade rough uh, for down two, which isn't bad. So here I'm in third seat. How many points do I have? I've got 15. It's a nice 15, but this is uh, 10 to 15. Uh, uh, two plus diamonds. So I'm hoping Alan's got a, uh, a one heart response here so I can raise him. But he is bidding after a double by south. So south's double normally is takeout. Here, some people have different agreements when the opening bid could be as few as two. So just an alert for anybody watching the stream. This one heart bid actually shows four or more spades by our agreement, doesn't show hearts. So if he has spades, um, I have no reason not to bid a no trump. I could try diamonds, but what's the worst that could happen in no trump here? What, they win four club tricks? Not a problem. It's another double. North might come in with two clubs. I can bid two diamonds over that. Shows my shape, or at least my, my diamond shape. Doesn't say anything about my heart holding. But I'm in one O-Trump doubled here. Um, I'm happy to play one O-Trump doubled. I've got a pretty good holding, 15 points. Um, with some good cards. No reason to, to run away from a double. And if the opponent's aren't used to playing against the system, they might be not on the same page as to whether a double is, is conventional or not. So looking here, we have six top tricks. Uh, we Our clubs, as I predicted, are wide open. So we're gonna probably lose the first four or five club tricks. But after that, the opponents have a choice to make as to which suit they shift to. So uh, if we're able to knock out the ace of spades, we can take seven tricks. If we're not able to knock out the ace of spades, either because they, they win six club tricks off the top or they win or they knock out my heart, then we're not in as good a place. So we'll see. Okay, so after the ace king of clubs, we have an immediate heart shift to the four. Now on this previous trick, I played clubs from both hands. So I don't know where the king is. Why would you shift to the four of hearts after playing the ace and king of clubs? If you have queen 10 in hand, you would try to hit partner with a high card. I'm going to play south for the jack and north for the king here. OK, so probably south has the, uh, the top two. So because of the shift, I'm playing the opponents for four four clubs. So I should have the tempo to knock out the ace of spades. But uh, I will run my diamonds first. The reason I'm running my diamonds first here is because I'm not worried about making decisions about what to pitch from dummy. I know that the opponents, uh, or I know I can throw long spades from dummy and, and also the nine of clubs. So the diamonds are four, one. We saw the seven of spades from south. They play odd even carding. So, I mean, I know where the ace of spades is at this point. Um, South is very pressured, um, just because if South is 4-4 in the majors, uh, South can't afford to throw a, what do you call it, second heart. We've seen two, three spades out of South right now. So um, with th four spades, two, I'm going to lead my king of spades here, which will force out the ace. North has a doubled in spade. So uh, I assume that the opponents will win two club tricks. But if North South plays a heart at this point, um, then I can win the rest of the tricks. If South started with just ace, king, queen of uh, clubs and shifts to a heart now, then I have the rest of the tricks. South should play another club. Yeah. But I have the rest now. Making two is good. 
the uh, position of the hearts um, meant that the only way to beat the contract is for South to play ace, king, queen of clubs, play the 10 to partners jack, and then get a heart back through my ace. Is that a reasonable defense? I think it is. I think that they should have found that defense. Um, but uh, absent any carding agreements that they can count on for these kind of specific holdings, it can be hard to find. Um, I don't know if I agree with, uh, from this holding, a, a heart shift at, at trick three. I think you should continue playing clubs. Um, I'm looking at the double dummy result here, and I can always take five diamonds and the ace of hearts. It looks like that the fact that they can only win four club tricks and the ace of spades off the top means that uh, I can always play up to the queen of hearts and only lose six tricks. So I can always make this contract, as it turns out. The double will help me. Um, I can see why South doubled again. But uh, one thing about... Uh, thanks for watching Harsh Duality. One thing about uh, doubling... Um, one thing about being on lead against, uh, especially a no trump contract, is that if you are the strong hand, it gets very awkward to find safe cards to exit from. Here, South had some fairly safe club exits, but the heart was not a safe exit. The spade is not a safe exit. And the diamond could have easily cost a trick as well. So that didn't end up being a top board. Still, we're happy with it. We've climbed all the way back up to 49.9%. So we are, uh, after uh, half of the game is done, we are below 50, uh, or exactly at 50. I can live with that. If we finish with a 70% for the second half, we end up with 60%, which uh, maybe it's not a winning game, but it's a pretty good game. An unexciting auction so far. North probably deciding whether to take preference to hearts or pass. What do I have? Three hearts, the queen, ten, nine, two low diamonds. I think North is probably going to pass. Nope, two hearts. And while I, I have five spades, I could theoretically bid two spades. It's just not going to be good to go minus 200 here. South blasting to four hearts. Like they know that partner's got a really good heart suit when partner probably only has a couple bad ones. Um, so, South's likely shape is 6 4 with something like 18 points. The heart lead is reasonable. Here, with a jack and dummy, I have a natural heart winner. The question is where else are we getting tricks? There might not be a lot of entries to dummy. The Queen of Diamonds looks to be one. If South has something like Ace King Fourth. And if South has the King of Spades, that could also be an entry. So South ducking the heart here, what does that tell me? Does it tell me that they want a shift or that they don't want a shift? This will fetch the Ace of Clubs. They likely have the values for game here, and so playing it safe will want to avoid the possibility of a club rough. So I'm playing the Ten of Clubs here to put South on the spot before the trumps are drawn uh, to get that Ace of Clubs out. And I'm playing nine Ten of Hearts here to tell partner I have preference to one of the lower ranking suits. South actually blasted with a five card heart suit. Certainly, I expected six, and if you're five two, uh, you might not end up having such a good time. But uh, the three three break helped. So that eight of diamonds indicates that partner probably started with three diamonds, an odd number, and that tells me in turn that South is probably five five in the reds. The hesitation before playing the ace of clubs uh, tells me that the uh, South probably has a second club and maybe one spade. So Alad held up a couple of rounds on diamonds. Uh, I discouraged on the spade. I want to see a club here. And Alad's figured out why I shifted to the 10 of clubs. 
Uh, and I'm going to play south for one spade. So I'm just going to play my 10 of spades here. But it's the ace. So we did as well as we could. Putting them on the spot early uh, resulted in holding it to, to four. Unfortunately, how good is that really here? It's not worth anything. Nothing going on here. Hitting that refresh button. Four hearts making is, uh, the over trick seems to be worth zero match points at this point. Two no trump gets passed. So south has 12 points, probably 12 or 13. North has 11 or 12. I have six. So 12, 12, 6. I'm guessing partner has about 10 points. Where are those 10 points? North didn't bid a single major suit. So I could lead one of my three-card majors. I could lead a club or a diamond. I, I'm i not convinced that there's a five-card suit in either hand here. I want to defend passively, I think. So this club lead might cost a trick if partner doesn't have much in clubs. You might get my count wrong. I, I don't know what's going to happen in terms of Alad's card here. Queen, the king. No, the queen wins. Two's good. I wanted to see the two. So I made a lucky lead here, as it turns out. Um, I wanted to defend passively, but as it turns out, the club suit uh, ends up being our suit. Now, if I were north, I would throw in the jack here, thinking I'm leading from four, but I actually led from three. I didn't want to lead a diamond when I think that north has four or five diamonds. I'd be mad if I was north, but um, sometimes you get lucky, and this is one hand where we got lucky, as it turns out. So the three of diamonds here, and me playing the two of hearts will tell partner, I don't want you to play hearts. Um, I might have something on spades, but I would rather probably prefer a diamond shift. The fact that north has two clubs and didn't bid a major is telling me that North is probably five diamonds, three, three in the majors with two clubs. So the diamond play by Alad is going to be the safest at this point in terms of not yielding an extra trick. And Alad does find the diamond play. Here I'm going to give count playing low high to show four. You know what, there are definitely times where I'm glad I'm streaming, besides the fact that I, you know, I like streaming and I like explaining my thought processes and playing through the hands with all you watching it. But definitely the hands where I get really lucky, and if you would think that I was cheating otherwise, if you didn't know I was streaming and just like live commentating, this is one of those hands where if I was North, I'd be like, who are these guys and how long have they been cheating? Uh, because finding the club lead and then, yeah, it was all very fortuitous. But as it turns out, 
Sometimes you get lucky. Uh, and this is one of those times. So yeah, the diamond uh, finishes the unblock. North started with five diamonds, the queen, nothing in clubs. What looks to be at least two high spades, probably king queen. Uh, that leaves uh, maybe both the king and queen of hearts at this point. Here, my present count is the eight. Queen of diamonds, jack. Maybe North will forget where the uh, Ten of Diamonds is. Excuse me. Hopefully Alad's not under pressure again. He started with four clubs, two diamonds, so he has seven cards in the majors. Um, if he read my Eight of Hearts correctly, he should know that he's holding the 13th heart. And uh, I think he should discard it but I don't know what his exact spade holding is. I believe Alad has a one of the top uh, two spades, so he either has the ace or the queen. If he has the queen of spades, it's okay for him to throw a low spade. But if he had the ace of spades, I don't think I'd want that. So here I'm winning my 10. Uh, Alad threw a heart. Alad has another pitch. So here's a spade. Um, I think that if Alad has the queen of spades, then the queen forces the ace, and then a heart has to come up. If Alad has the ace of spades, then a spade to the ace, and then Alad has to play a heart from his hand. Um, what do I want to do? So here, I think the right thing to do is to play a heart and then let the Clarer screw up. So Declare has the hearts covered, and then Alad will win the Ace of Spades at the end. Same thing would have happened. That was a very lucky defense. Extremely lucky. Nobody else is, is holding it to seven tricks. Everybody else gives up eight. Looking at the double dummy, um, technically Declare can always make it. But um, it requires uh, well, you can always play on spades to get three spade tricks, three hard tricks, and the ace, king, queen of diamonds. Uh, you'll lose the ace of spades and, and four club tricks uh, before then. But I think you can always make it if you just uh, manage your entries well and don't give up the nine of diamonds at the end there. So by this point, actually, um, when I played the eight to dummy and, and declarer pitched a spade from hand, that was the end because they don't know it yet, but uh, the hand relies on playing on spades rather than diamonds for the eighth trick. I don't blame them at all. Um, so, so yeah, if you throw a diamond there, then if diamonds are three, three, you're making it but you're still throwing away an overtrick in a hand where overtricks might matter. So board 13, we defended four hearts. Four hearts ends up being a middle of the pack just because some people are in three making three, some people are in making three making more. But it's a pretty good board for us. The next one was a very good board for us because we got a plus score in a hand. Uh, that most north south or most east west did not. So we've moved up a little bit. We're at 53%. Hopefully we can keep the progress going. Alan's got a Diamond overcall, and I have a nice diamond raise. Regardless of North's bid. One diamond, one heart. Let's go two diamonds. Because I'm 4-4 in the majors, they probably don't have a major suit fit. But they might have a club fit. It's hard for them to bid it when they're red on white. Here, the heart bid and heart raise could be on a 4-3 fit, but it's most likely on a 4-4. Four, four. 
and I'm going to play partner for a singleton heart. And this is a hand where I'm happy to compete to uh, three diamonds. Yes, you're on TV. Uh, right now, I don't yet have a lot of viewers, but if you are watching, thank you very much. Uh, feel free to second guess all of my decisions, and uh, I appreciate all the good advice that I get. Sincerely. North has a thought. What could that be? Is North going to raise? North is raising. Well, I have a good hand, but I can't compete over three hearts. Um, I'm hoping they bid four hearts. I think that four hearts is uh, an overbid. But uh, they've stopped in three, so we need to take five tricks. Alid will probably lead a diamond here. I, I'm playing him for a singleton heart, so he's not going to lead a singleton heart on this auction. But a diamond is, is reasonable. And then we'll see what the defense will uh, will be. Yes, as you can see from uh, just looking back at that last hand, playing the clubs for um, an immediate four tricks uh, requires very specific uh, play. I need to underlead my ace of clubs to partner's king-queen. He needs to lead a low club back to my ace, and then I need to play the eight through uh, dummy's jack. Uh, it got lucky there. Oh, shoot, I'm on lead. My bad. Okay. All right. So what do we have here? We have south raising hearts with two of them. Ah. Uh, Okay. This is one of those situations where it's not bad to force dummy uh, if that yields more tricks for me. It might not, actually. The shift to the ace of clubs is probably from ace-king, so I'm going to encourage this. Because here, um, what's going to happen is... Okay, so it's not from ace-king, but I am going to assume that I can get a rough here, and I can get a rough if, uh, so here, the I'm going to play low heart to encourage clubs by partner. We'll see how many hearts partner has. So partner had two hearts, okay. Now, what do you play off a dummy? Maybe a club to your queen? I can't, of course, play a heart here, so I'm going to play a diamond. I don't know if Alad's diamond will win the trick, but he bid one diamond rather than two. So I'm guessing he has exactly five. Unfortunately, the diamond play off of dummy, well, it was slow. So, yeah, the jack is here. Or a rough, one of the two. Oh, oh no. Okay, so here, I have a natural trump trick, but I want to see a club here. And the reason I want to see a club is because I can rough and then throw dummy in. But here, the diamond works just as well. So north might trump high. North has queen and then probably two middle hearts. Started with uh, here. Um, do I over rough? I don't think I've seen enough middle hearts for me to not over rough. So I'm going to go over rough, ace of spades, and then spade to dummy. I'm going to play the jack of spades to make it look like I'm short in spades. And thus long in clubs, so Anne might rough low if she has a low heart. I haven't been exactly looking at the heart spots. But I think Alice and I both had club doubletons, and as a result, we just set up Anne's clubs for her. Okay, so Anne smartly is throwing off the queen of clubs. But uh, I do have a rough here. What did we beat it by three tricks? That should be good enough for a top. So here, 
Uh, there were a couple problems. Uh, most importantly, David's raise to two hearts on an ace king doubleton was not the best choice. Um, a hand like that should bid something other than two hearts. Double, whatever your agreement is, can't be bad. Here, three hearts, down three is, of course, a good board for us. But we're on the next hand, and I have a uh, 11 to 15, two plus diamonds uh, opening bid with 13 count and five diamonds. Partner bids one heart. I'm bidding one spade, which specifically shows an unbalanced hand. And if he does bid a heart and I bid a spade, I'll explain exactly what's going on. Yes, Alad also laughing at the club encouragement when both of us had double tins and both of us thought we were getting a rough there. As it turns out, we just set up their suit, but uh, we had enough control in the Trump suit and enough tricks outside that it didn't matter. We always have the Jack of Hearts, the Ace of Clubs, two top diamonds, and the Ace of Spades, but it was our creativity and ingenuity that got us two more under tricks. 15 to 18, balanced hand, we gotcha. I don't have a call over Wonder Trump, unfortunately. But North will probably transfer to diamonds or transfer to hearts here if Al is passing and uh, I have a singleton heart. So North is thinking for a while. Probably considering whether or not, yeah, it's a transfer, of course. It's my suit, right? Um, let's try two spades here. That messes with them. This should be fun. I don't think it's a good bid, but it's certainly a bid that'll bother them. Uh, so, if, yeah, so if I was just going to go three hearts here, and Alad, if he's got four spades, might compete. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's a, is that a penalty double? Um, uh, it's gotta be a penalty double. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is spicy. Um, this, this has to be a penalty double here. You can't have like an invitational hand. And I've, I've created a, a swing board again. I feel like a lot of my actions are leading to swingy boards. And I am no longer on lead this time. So this time I can actually relax. The two of spades here, uh, it's uh, the standard present count or something like that. So I need to uh, think about how I want to defend. So North has the kind of transfer where you can't decide if you want to transfer. You want to bid no Trump or pass it. Here, because Alad is uh, doubling, I am assuming he's got a heart stack. So how do I defend this? I think, well, I'm going to win my ace of spades here. And in terms of alternatives, there's no roughing in South's hand based on what I see in the dummy. So where are we going to get tricks from? It could be the spade suit. And uh, seeing the eight there, we, the three is missing and the four is missing. Uh, so I'm going to try a low spade here. This will probably fish out the king. How are we doing for time? Three minutes. Okay, we're good. So that's the 10, probably standard present count. So he's got uh, three spades to start, something like that. That's fine. I'm going to encourage diamonds. He went low high in hearts. He's got something in clubs, I'm sure. But uh, I think me showing out there... Okay, so that looks like a doubleton. Um, at this point, I think what I want to do is, is win my ace of clubs and then hope partner has something in clubs. He does not have something in clubs. Okay, this is, this is, this is, <sighs> uh oh. I think partner had the jack of clubs there. So it might have been better to play passively in that suit. Okay, he's got two more tricks. Good. Yeah, I figured him for a heart stack. So getting the double in was was worth uh was probably gonna be worth a lot of match points to turn uh fifty into a hundred.
yeah, he has two natural trump tricks, and I've got probably two aces and then a third trick somewhere, so that's good. Um, yeah, so it beat the person in two hearts down one. What do you know? Match point doubles are great because they, they, they're free, right? You bid a double, it either works or it doesn't. If it works, you can call yourself a genius, and if it doesn't work, it's just one hand, right? We had a match point double earlier on board two where uh, I couldn't decide if we had an agreement whether or not my double was takeout or penalty. And I figured, hey, there's a chance we beat it anyway, right? And it made, and that's okay. We got a zero and we made it up for it with a hundred here. So doubles are fun for match points. At a normal table, South gets to play two hearts. And that is correct. Um, me pushing to two spades there um, definitely pushed south into three hearts. That being said, my two spades should have been punished. South should double two spades as fast as he can possibly click on that red card because he's got uh, three winners in spades. The top two hearts, the king of clubs, he has the contract beat in his own hand. So he should be doubling two spades and I should be down uh, 200 or 500. Uh, and I am lucky that the opponents did not find that. I'm tempted to bid two spades here, but in second seat, I think that I'm more likely to be preempting my partner than south, so I'm going to pass. So that was a good round, uh, all the match points. And uh, after being at, what, 39% after the first, like, uh, six. We were at thirty-five percent after six boards, but we are now up to fifty-nine percent after sixteen. So we finally, uh, we've almost made it home to our usual sixty-two, sixty-three percent home, and we just need to keep it going for the last third of the game. We might get to buy it for two spades, then I'll get to play another hand. What am I? I'm East today. Uh, how many hands has East played? I played the one of Trump doubled hand. Ah, oh, three diamonds. Well, I don't have a compete here, fortunately. Um, I've played two hands. Both of them make, so that's good. Now, I could lead a spade. I could try a diamond. I could lead by doubleton heart. Partner doubled, raised my spades. I am concerned that there's some club pitches coming. And if that's the case, I need to, to attack the opponents. Now, South bid clubs and raised diamonds is likely short in the major suits. I wonder if leading the 10 of hearts, my doubled in heart, is going to be a winner here. I'm going to try it. So here you can see South is holding uh, the diamonds and the clubs. Uh, and a singleton spade. So there's not a lot of future in the spade suit. Now, Alid will know whether or not my 10 is a doubleton based on the fact that he can count North's hand, right? Can North have five hearts? No, not for this bidding. Can North have four? Quite unlikely. Alid probably has four hearts. And here... Um, what do I want to encourage? I, I think I'm going to start with a 10 of diamonds to play top down on my diamonds to say not clubs. And I expect Alad to show out on the second round of diamonds. Did he? Hang on. So he didn't. Okay. So here I'm giving count in the clubs. We'll see if the queen comes out or the 10. I hope it's the queen. Yes! But of course, the club finesse can be continued. Because I played my 10 of hearts from a doubleton heart, Alad might be fooled by the opponents into thinking I only have a doubleton diamond, but I have three. So he might continue playing hearts. If he plays the ace of spades here, I need to drop the 10 of spades to tell him to shift to hearts. That's the king of hearts. So pretty clearly I'm showing a doubleton heart here. 
I wonder if he'll figure out that I have a, uh, another trump. Um, if he plays the ace of spades, I definitely want to tell him with a loud spade to play another heart. As long as he doesn't play a club, I'm happy. Okay, the queen of hearts is a heart I wanted to see. So um, I'm going to play the ten of spades. The ten of spades should say, don't play spades. Uh, play the higher ranking suit. And that here is actually hearts. Hopefully, Alad will interpret that ten of spades to mean this. There's a heart. Uh, it is the last heart, so there's no suit reference on this. Although he did play, I think he played his hearts. Um, he played his hearts down the line, for what it's worth. So I'm trumping, um, and uh, I have no choice but to play a spade here. Uh, I, ho I have to hope that Declare will maybe mis misguess the clubs or that Alan has the ace of spades. So we beat it. Excellent. So there's something to be said for doubles and leads. Fortunately, the uh, Declara seems to have blocked herself in uh, dummy. If she started with four diamonds, three hearts, uh, three clubs, and three spades, then I'm going to win my jack of clubs here. That should be a good result. How many spades are we making? We're off two diamonds, the ace of hearts, and probably two clubs. So we're making two spades. Uh, so anybody who's in two spades is doing better than us, but uh, we did well to beat three diamonds a couple tricks. Double dummy, I think it's making. I don't need to export this deal. Yeah, double dummy, it should be making four, but uh, sometimes our defense is just too overwhelming. Diamond, heart, got nothing. Well, isn't this exciting? Alec coming in at the three level. Um, this is a hand with certainly a good diamond suit and a good hand, but my hand's not worth any beds here. If partner's got a six card diamond suit and south has four, then we're not uh, going to be able to cash two diamond tricks. So I could start with a diamond and get our diamond trick right off the bat. Partner's got what looks to be a singleton heart. Uh, there's no reason to lead anything else. So this is actually one of those four four three two hands by South, where um, Declarer has uh, that hand. Uh, and that means Alad, if he has six diamonds, the Ace of Diamonds is a safe play here. He can play Ace of Diamonds and a diamond, and then uh, Declarer will be forced to rough. And whether or not I have the Queen of Hearts or a heart winner, um, it works. Alad's thinking right now because it's trick one. But if he has seven, seven diamonds, his decision's a lot harder. He needs to decide whether to try to cash the ace of diamonds or to shift to something else. What he's looking at right now is the spots. He would expect that Declara would, lay, would play her diamonds up the line. So unfortunately, the fact that Declara played the two of diamonds conceals the location of the three of diamonds. So if Alad has seven diamonds, the ace, queen, jack, he doesn't know whether I'm leading a singleton or a doubleton. And he try, trying to beat this contract, he's playing the ace of diamonds and hoping it works out. Fortunately, he had six, not seven. 
and thus the ace of diamonds is cash. He will always play a diamond here to prevent the king of diamonds from being from, be, from being used as a discard. What this will also do is guarantee that my queen of well, actually, it won't guarantee that my heart, queen of hearts is a winner. But if if uh, she roughed high, she could have finessed it out. So the four of diamonds is the lowest outstanding diamond. So I'm going to go ace of clubs and a club, hoping to hit partner with a king. He really seems to be encouraging, which he would do with a king or queen, but um, looks to be the king queen. And so it's down. So we found the killing defense, thanks to partner's diamond overcall. Now, I do have the outstanding queen of hearts. If Alad plays another diamond here, it's not going to do anything. Um, it's possible for her to guess to miss guess hearts, but uh, no, I don't think she will. There's there's no way to to get this wrong at this point. I think she's out of clubs and diamonds. So she started with three clubs, two diamonds, uh, four hearts, and four spades. More likely five hearts and three spades, including the king queen of spades because she did go ahead and bid uh three hearts right so she has something if she ends up getting stuck in dummy if Alad has a useful high spade then maybe it's down um, five hearts yeah five hearts two diamonds three clubs and thus three spades three four four two um yeah king queen ten so could she have done better? Obviously, knowing the why of the cards, if she roughs with the King of Hearts, she can play the Jack of Hearts and finesse me. And then uh, she'll just lose four tricks in the minors. If she roughs in with the Jack of Hearts or the Seven of Hearts or doesn't rough, I rough in and we, we cash two club tricks. So um, really, I think the decision here is, do you rough with the Jack and then play for the drop or rough with the King and play for the finesse? Uh, she chose neither and ended up going down. Had she chosen to play for the finesse, she makes it. Uh, there's a range of results here between 8 and 10 tricks in hearts. Uh, fortunately, we defeated a contract. So that's going to get us some match points. Looking at the previous board, uh, not a top board, but uh, getting three diamonds down two is a result to be proud of. And uh, we're going to get some match points there, too. So not a pair of 100s, but certainly a round that'll boost our percentage. And now we're above 60%. Thanks, Trish. Uh, uh, we, we are defending well lately, at least the last couple of rounds. Yeah, over the past few rounds, we've had an 86, a 68, a 96, a 100, a 91, a 55, a 91, a 64, a 60, or a 59, and a 73. So that's really good, but the first eight rounds were something like a 40% game. Partners got the good hand. Oh, weak no trumps. I love it. Partners got the 16 plus. Um, if he's balanced, 17 plus here because we play a 14 to 16 no trump in this vulnerability. Uh, double here, I don't know what that means. Um, I would see an explanation, I'm sure, uh, if there was a conventional agreement. So, uh, forcing. If I had five to seven, I redouble or bid a diamond. One of those two things. But pass is definitely zero to four. I think the double was a takeout double. And you might wonder, well, what's the point of a takeout double against a precision club? Well, a lot of people just have their default agreements, and uh, you should expect them to play their default agreements, regardless of the naturality or artificiality of your bids. Hallett hasn't said anything about his hand except for the fact that he's got 17 or 16 or more points. And uh, here's his chance to say something. Pass will tell me he's got sort of a minimum balanced hand, or perhaps a spade stack unlikely to be a spade stack here 
So we'll see if Alan has a has a call. I wonder if Alad is clicking the double waiting for an explanation and the explanation isn't coming because the opponents, there you go. Clearly it's a takeout double. Alad probably was waiting to see if to go. So uh, here, um, there's no way he has a 25 point hand. I'm just gonna pass. I'm worth nothing. And bidding anything is gonna be worse than bidding nothing. Uh, he has bids available that are forcing uh, and strong if he has a 24-point hand. If he has anything less than that, then two clubs is the right spot. And in fact, if he has something in the 22 or 23-point range, uh, we are going to be at at least the three level at other tables. So we'll gain on the people playing the strong two clubs in this hand. But he actually has sort of a minimum 17. Uh, this is actually the opponent's hand. They have the balance of power. Uh, the good news is that we have uh, what looks to be eight pretty definite tricks in five clubs and three hearts. Now, uh, the ace and a diamond lead could be from a doubleton. I think Alad will probably throw a spade here uh, just to sort of be safe against some of those possible holdings. Uh, I have no idea where the diamond jack is, but if that's played at this point, Alad will discard a spade. Well, no, he doesn't have to. But if South is out of diamonds, South will probably end up playing a heart or a spade. And then Alad can get around to uh, taking out Trump. So here, uh, it's a heart play. Alad has to decide if he wants to do a hard finesse. Now, the hard finesse would be good if hearts are 4-2. And I think he's playing hearts for 4-2. North probably doesn't have five hearts to the king for a takeout double. And uh, we'll see if that is the case. So that is correct. So had Alad played the ace of hearts, it gives up on the chance of playing for zero heart losers. Alad's overtaking there because he wants that extra entry to dummy after he's pulled Trump. Um, I don't know if I'd start with the ace of clubs here. It seems a little bit risky if clubs are 5-1. Fortunately, they're not. Uh, there isn't a chance of a squeeze here, but Alad is playing for some kind of pseudo squeeze. Uh, North will never throw off the jack of diamonds, though. So... There's not a lot doing there. North actually started with four clubs. It's an interesting double. Maybe South has the Jack of Diamonds. One can't be sure. North started with King Small of Hearts. He will rough, he will play, or the Jack will win and Alad can play, making two. That should be a pretty good board. Um, I think the opponents might have a, a spade contract that way. Maybe on a 5-2 fit. Seems uh, like the opponents might not be able to get into an auction if it starts one club. One club could be passed out at some tables. Yeah, as you can see, one club is passed out at a few tables, and then there's some other part scores. Uh, getting a plus, plus score there seems to be good. Uh, clubs is the right strain, as it turns out. Is there a killing defense? I don't think there is. Um, but actually, I am wrong. If they force us in clubs by playing on diamonds and spades early um, and continuing those suits... Uh, we can't afford to knock out the heart and then enjoy the hearts at the end. 
So the opponent should have stuck with their initial choice of suits and not played our suit. Not that they knew that Al had had four hearts, the ace queen. Well, we have a lot of plus scores at least. That's pretty good. And uh, this board should be another good one, it's tied for a top. So we're moving up to our usual home of, in terms of scores. This is another hand where I have uh, a pretty good raise, but Alad being a passed hand uh, removes the possibility of us being in uh, or, or bidding a game. So I'm going to try to buy the contract as cheaply as I can, hopefully in two spades. But here we go, three diamonds, and now... Now I have a call to make, right? Do I go three spades or do I pass three diamonds? So Alad has a passed hand. I know that. He should have five spades. Um, what are the odds that three diamonds making? What are the odds that it's down one? What about us being down one and three spades? <sighs> I like three spades here. I'm going to go three spades. A singleton diamond is going to be helpful. I think that there's a good chance the opponents have a nine card diamond fit. And with me being the short spade hand, that's going to be worth two extra tricks. Down one will be better than three diamonds making, and that uh, makes me feel a little bit good about bidding three spades here, because I did not think we were getting doubled. But I do think three, three diamonds is, is, probably, is probably on. I'm threading the needle a bit here, but it seems to be the the median, the most likely, the mode result. So I have guessed wrong. Partner is not, in fact, holding three diamonds. The opponents have an 11-card diamond fit. Uh, the good news is that because they hold an 11-card diamond fit, and they have certainly zero heart losers, uh, and at most one club loser, and at most two spade losers, they're making at least four diamonds. And if clubs are 4-1 or spades are 4-1, then they're making five. So we might have, I won't say kept them out of game, but they might have a game. Uh, we're down at least one for what it's worth off three hearts and the, the high diamond and the high club. If... Uh, depending on the club position, they might have been able to get it down two after discarding uh, a club from a doubleton on the, uh, the high heart. But I don't know where the uh, ace is, and I don't know where the club split is. The good news is that clubs, if clubs are 4-1, then they are making uh, five diamonds. So they're not. So... Um, we now have to play spades for zero losers. Clubs were 3-2. Diamond, hearts were 3-2. Diamonds almost certainly 6-5. So that tells me that spades are probably also 3-2. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Down one. Uh, this is the needle that we wanted to thread. They're not making five diamonds um, because they have two spades to lose and there's no way to dodge a club loser. But they are making three or four diamonds. So down ones shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and looking at the results here, uh, while somebody did... Uh, managed to make three spades, and you can make it on uh, a missed defense. Um, down one is second from top. So this ended up being a very good round. Uh, and uh, we should, again, be moving up to something like a 63% game, which is our natural home with four boards to go. So we've crawled out of an even bigger hole than last time to get where we needed to be. I guess it's a little hard to compete to the four level over three spades when you don't hold any singletons. And that kept both north and south from bidding on. As it turns out, there's plenty of cover cards in hearts and clubs. 
uh, to bid for, but uh, they weren't able to untangle that. Alrighty, so we're up to 63.5. This hand is one of those interesting hands with a void and a weak level of strength. I'm not going to open this. It's a bad idea. Nice comeback, yeah, but we can't call it too soon. Now, partner's going to open for sure because in the fourth seat, you're going to bid your spades. So I could call this a positive response, um, but I won't. And the reason I won't is because if, if partner has something like six spades and 16 points, we shouldn't be in game. So zero to seven, any shape. And if he does show up with a heart bid, and he, he'll bid hearts here with four hearts and an unbalanced hand, he might bid a, like a no trumpy bid. Then there's a good chance we push on the game. So there's one spade. Um, and here I have a conventional uh, zero to two spades, uh, six or seven points. And this will tell partner the strength is there, the shape isn't, unless you've got a second suit. And if he has a second suit, I'm happy to push on. But uh, if he just ends up going two spades, I'm happy to pass it. He's also not above making things like tactical passes with if he's like got 16 points and six spades or or five spades and four clubs he might just pass it tactically or four spades and five clubs but uh I think he'll probably end up just bidding two spades here Oh it's the tactical pass I called it Um yeah so my hand is is good for clubs uh, hopefully it's not good for five clubs. Just looking here, we're good for five clubs. But you know what? I can live with it. Uh, normal auctions will start with one spade by Alad's hand, and then I'm in a tough position. Um, in fourth seat, uh, I might have a natural two club bid available. And if I bid that, then we might be off to the races. Uh, there's a good chance I just bid one no trump, and then he'll bid clubs, and then I'll raise clubs, and he'll go five. So uh, being in clubs here might not be the best of all worlds. Or, or sorry, I should say being short of game might not be excellent here. Um, and if you're looking at three no trump, uh, suppose I think a diamond lead is, is the best attack against this. Uh, a diamond lead probably causes us to lose a club and two diamonds off the top. And then we'll take four clubs, two spades, maybe one or two diamonds, the ace of hearts, maybe a couple other hearts. I think we are making three no trump, and I think we are making five clubs. So this isn't going to be a great board. But we are going to beat the people in two spades. Yeah. It's true that I never showed clubs. Uh, I think Alad was counting on, because I was short in clubs, me having maybe like a couple clubs, and that two clubs would end up playing better than two spades. Uh, as it turns out, um, clubs is a lot better than two spades. And in fact, it's so much better that uh, we are making five clubs probably. I don't think there's a way to dodge the diamond loser. Um, but that should be it. I think we have to lose one more diamond loser, and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make five.
Now, even though that's our agreement of bidding two clubs there with my hand, uh, we haven't had it come up a lot of times. So the detailed follow-ups to that sequence haven't been firmly established by us. I think that probably his technically correct bid is three clubs, over which I go five clubs. But I don't blame him for thinking that a pass will gain some kind of advantage over the field. Here, obviously, it did not. Um, hang on a second. He roughs. He plays the jack of hearts throwing a diamond and then maybe can cross rough the rest. I don't know. It depends on how many. I haven't been following closely, but if, if North still has the 10 of clubs, then maybe some holdings will get swallowed up. Here are the uh, queen of clubs is being played. Uh, I don't know if the eight of spades is still good at this point. So I think Alad could have played the Jack of Hearts, rough the diamond, rough the spade, and then rough the diamond at the end? Or am I missing something? No, the spade's good. So he made six. He did well to set up the spade suit. Uh, I guess South discarded a few spades. Um, but that shouldn't be a great score. Uh, actually, uh, most people landed short of game. Everybody seems to be in clubs here, with a couple exceptions. Um, and the fact that he took 170 instead of 150 is worth, so far, one match point. So overall, we ended up with a good board. Um, I don't think Alad would do the same thing at Imps. At Imps, he would definitely try to angle for a game if there was one. At match points, and certainly at this club in particular, uh, he's assuming that when the high card points are thin, that the game's not likely to be found and that you can get uh, a pretty good equity if you stop on the part score and just take more tricks on declare or play than the opponents do. That was probably part of his decision-making process there. And it seems that even though five clubs would have been a better spot, we're still not starving for match points on this hand. Um, and that depends on, I guess, knowing the field a little bit. Two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, three diamonds, three hearts. We'll see how high they get. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe they'll pass. Forget that two clubs is strong. Nope. So, what's going on here? This feels to me like an active defense hand. I want to hit partner with one of the top two spades. And uh, let's hope we've got it. So I was a little worried that the player has running hearts and eventually running diamonds. So if partner has the ace or queen of spades, those tricks might be going away if I don't lead a spade. Unfortunately, I gave away a trick by leading away from my king into the player's very strong ace queen. So that's no good. I might get it back depending on Declare's shape. So if Declare has two diamonds and exactly ace, queen, jack of spades, then I'm winning the king of spades anyway. If partner has a choice, he's playing suit preference in hearts. So he might have a club card or maybe a diamond card. Here, there's no point holding on to a, 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 the 13th spade. I'm assuming spades are, are probably four, triple, three around the table. So partner played his, his cards up the line. Unfortunately, the diamonds running mean that um, with, I'm guessing that's not a singleton, right? So five diamonds, six hearts, ace, queen of spades, hands over. If partner had the ace of clubs, I should have let a club. But counting points, declare showed up with, what, ace, king, queen, jack of um, hearts, the queen of diamonds, that's 12. Ace, queen of spades is 18. There's a good chance that Declare has the Ace of Clubs, but I don't think that's the case. I think Declare had King Queen. Ah, shoot. So I should have let a club that's worth one more trick, but uh, it's a guess, right? Uh, 
unfortunately, um, even if I defend passively, it's only 12 tricks. So um, I have to lead a spade for it to be 13. And I think the double dummy will confirm that. That's right, the spade gave up the 13th trick. Of course, if the ace and king, ace of spades and king of clubs were inverted, then my spade lead is great. So there you go. So unfortunately, uh, I just rolled as a bottom board with my with my spade lead. Too bad. Wonder what other people are leading. Probably a fourth best club is my bet. Uh, I don't really like it, but oh, actually, um, this hand South ended up stealing the heart suit. This hand North opened four hearts, which is a position. I guess a partner's pass. It's fine. It went one heart pass one one no Trump pass four hearts at this table, holding a twenty two count with six hearts. This table. Uh, was uh, a very similar auction, or the same auction as our table, I think. We got a diamond lead at this table. Um, I'm not sure how, at that point, it ended up making... Um... Oh, that's right, the diamond lead is passive, so the spade wasn't conceded. Three no trump. There's uh, six top hearts, five top diamonds, and the ace of spades. Again, it's 12 tricks. You beat all the people in four hearts, making six. Uh, but unfortunately, that spade lead ended up being super costly. And that's the curse of match points, right? A minor decision, a high variance guess, can lead to a 6% board. It's our second worst board of the night, and it's because I made a lead that I still think is the right lead to make. Uh, but what do you know? So we're down to 61%. Uh, that's within oh, 15. Okay. That's within biting range of a win, but it's not anywhere close to being guaranteed a win. Uh, some smart North South actually bid the slam. Uh, David and Anne bid the slam. Uh, is it a bad slam? I don't think so. You've got a running diamond suit, controls everywhere, enough aces. Um, but precision is, is happening again here. So um, it's time to time to bid my hand. Again, I've got zero to seven points, opposite partners, one club. I think I've had that three or four times tonight. I haven't had a positive response yet. Partner's range is 20 to 21, opposite 20 to 21. I could transfer to spades, or I could bid three no trump. So uh, what is right? OK, I think probably just leave the choice to him. There are reasons why I might want to pick spades and reasons I might want to pick no trump. But I think Alad will know better than I uh, whether or not we should be in spades or no trump. Three no trump here is not alerted. It's a standard bid, but it is pass or correct. And uh, Alad chooses to pass, and I'm not sad about that. Um, I have a weak spade suit, and if Alad's got a bad doubleton, then that's fine. So uh, I'm very happy we're in no trump and not spades. Uh, we have four diamonds, three clubs, and one heart. That's eight tricks. We need to manufacture a ninth trick. Fortunately, the diamond lead doesn't attack any of our weaknesses, namely the heart suit. So where is trick nine coming from? Uh, most likely place is clubs. If clubs are 3-3, three, three, then the 13th club is the ninth trick. If the jack-10 of clubs drop on the ace-king of clubs, then the nine of clubs will win a trick. There's also a possibility 
that spades can be set up. And it requires the opponents to continue to play diamonds when they get in. So Alad cleverly is dropping the queen of diamonds from hand to seem weaker in the diamond suit. Uh, the queen of spades winning the trick has resulted in the ninth trick appearing immediately. So uh, fortunately, um, well, with the ace-king of spades over there, uh, he, or I guess North held up with the ace of spades. But North is continuing diamonds just because there's no reason to, uh, <laughs> no reason to shift when you see the Clara drop the queen from hand. Alad will probably play low to the king here, keeping the 10 as an entry and dummy. Daniel and Elaine. But he might win the 10, I'm not sure. I think probably he wants the flexibility, so he'll play low. Interesting. So it's the 10 of diamonds. I wonder what he's going to do now that he's in dummy. Uh, there's no reason to duck a spade here, but it won't cost anything. Uh, and most he'll lose uh, two more spade tricks. The 7 of clubs discard is promising, though. That might cause the opponents to unguard clubs and the 13th trick to show up. Interesting. Uh, looks like North actually had four spades, the ace, king, 10, and chose not to win the spade that was led by the queen. And now Alad is going to take all his winners, uh, ending with the clubs, and then hopefully um, claim the rest of the tricks. I think we've seen one club discard, maybe two, um, and that should be enough. Once South discards a second club, I think that we have the rest of the tricks. Now, if North had, say, started with the ace, king of spades, and then continued a spade, we end up making uh, five, I think. So this might not be a top board. But it should be all right. The normal lead by North is a, is a long diamond. And West will normally be playing this contract in uh, three no trump. As you can see, 630 is pretty normal. Somebody managed to go down in three no. Uh, next hand, though, uh, two spades is a week two. I have um, what you might call a competitive raise. But because of my defense outside the spade suit, I don't think we're going to be interfered here, so I'm going to pass, and hopefully Alan will be able to buy it for two spades. Um, yeah, so two spades is a shot. I have a pretty good hand. Uh, we don't have enough for game, but the part score has a decent shot, depending on how bad his first seat white two spades preempt is. Turns out he's got an absolute maximum for his bid, uh, so this contract is actually going to make. Uh, we have two diamond losers, which we'll lose right away. Uh, at least one spade loser and uh, half a heart loser. So we're gonna be making probably nine or 10 tricks. If for whatever reason there are 10 tricks on this hand, then we might lose to a pair or two who overbid their way to four spades. But uh, other than that, it should be a fairly flat result. There's not a lot of choices here. I guess the only choice here is to decide whether or not you want to um, take a heart finesse or try something in the club suit. To play spades, uh, I think the normal way, you would lead up to your jack-10 twice. However, uh, there is the issue that the second entry to dummy might be risky. Now, I don't think there's going to be a rough in the club suit because nobody's doubling or bidding anything. Uh, spades are very likely to be 2-2 here as well. Uh, but I, I digress. It looks like if North isn't ducking from a strong holding again, that spades are 3-1. So now that the spade situation is resolved, and North is going to discard something here, there is one additional loser, and that's either a heart loser or a club loser. Um, South will continue with the queen of spades at this point if Alad ducks a spade. Um, if Alad ducks a spade and South wins, South will probably play diamonds, which Alad will trump. If South plays something that's not a diamond, Alad can claim the rest of the tricks. Well, this is the last hand, wow. Who knew? 
So that's a diamond, um, and Alad will discard a heart from Demi. And he has a choice before playing the, the last heart here. He could decide to play for some kind of weird Vienna coup, unblock the Ace of Hearts, cross the Ace of Clubs, play the Eight of Spades, discard the Queen of Hearts, hoping that the King and Jack of Hearts are in the same hand. Uh, the problem with that is, I think it's just worse than doing something like take out a heart finesse. I think the best thing for him to do is actually cash two clubs first to see what's going on in that suit and then play the eight of spades. And then there might be a, a, a squeeze in those suits. Uh, for some reason, he's starting with the ace of clubs. I would have gone uh, the other way, though. But it looks like the jack of clubs is dropping and he has the rest of the tricks. I wonder where the king of hearts was. So, uh, well, it's great that Alad took all the tricks he could. That means that four spades is making and four spades making uh, could mean that we don't have a top board here. Um, and yeah, somebody did bid four spades. It went one spade, which is an overbid, but, you know, last hand of the night, right? You go two clubs here, which is playing two over one, it's an overbid probably, and two spades and four spades, right? And then you make it when you find the uh, location of the king of hearts, which is on side, when clubs are 3-3. Three, three. Um, 170 is hard to avoid there. So this is going to be an average result for the last board. 23 again, just looking back on it, seems to be uh, worth most of the match points there. So my guess is we'll be treading water this last round and stay at around 62%. 62% is fine. It might be a win, it might not. It depends on how spread out the rest of the field is. Sometimes a pair gets hot and they go on a big run. And sometimes they don't. Carol, Duke. All right, so on this hand, East-West has bid up to six spades. Um, that is a bit of an overbid, because I think East must have thought that the two-spade preempt by West was a strong two and not a weak two. And so it went key card, and of course, West with two aces is going to show both aces, and then East is going to get excited. Um, and now both of them have realized exactly what went wrong. So... Um, they're in six spades, and they can't make it. However, uh, the friendly club position and heart position mean that they can go down one if uh, the opponents miss defend. The seven of hearts is the right play, but uh, was not played. Yeah, it would have been quite the comeback if we won. Of course, it's not over yet, but um, seeing an East-West uh, go to six spades is, is great, but it's only great if that East-West was leading us going into that board. Um, otherwise, it's it doesn't matter, right? You just want to gain ground on the people who are ahead of you or close to you. And if you're well ahead of somebody, you're well behind them, how well they do on a board doesn't end up mattering to your final placement. And of course, with two diamond tricks to cash, this is going down too. More results have trickled in for 23, I think. So yes, a good board worth, I don't know, 75% of the match points, 80%. And then this one, uh, 170, looks to be slightly above average just because some people take fewer tricks or go down in something else or defend something. Um, so that'll get us a few match points, um, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to push us uh, to that 65% sweet spot where you feel like you're gonna win the game. Right now we're, we're close to it, and it depends on the rest of the field. Overall, we start, started out a bit sloppy, um, but uh, our, our second half was very strong. Uh, we closed real good, um, and uh, yeah, we closed with like an 80% game over the second half, which is kind of remarkable.
But hey, luck comes in waves, doesn't it? So they might have been the last hand to finish just because they bit up to a slam on that. So with a couple more tables to go, let's join uh, Ray and Sandy's table, see how far they bid. Four hearts doubled by north. What do you know? So um, this looks to be down three. Yeah, down three is is uh, is not good. And it, it, it means that that's another result ahead of ours. So if Ray and Sandy were beating us, then they're beating us by even more now. And then last is uh, Imtiaz and uh, Phase Moon. Here, the contract is three spades doubled by West. Um, so again, it's another result where we're losing out to the people who get doubled in a part score making an over trick. I wonder if the double will fool them into uh, misplaying. The ace would be nice to see, but nope. Looks like this is going to make... Well, actually, with the low spade play, the player can win the ace of spades and then play on clubs and discard a diamond. So this will make, what, uh, one... This will make five now. It should make five now. So Declarer doesn't know the diamond position, um, but should go king of clubs, queen of clubs, nine of clubs, throw off a diamond. Yeah. I don't know who doubled that, but it was not the right call. And uh, Declare has to lose two more tricks. All right, Alad quickly reviewing uh, board two. I guess the problem is that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do need a penalty double. Um, I hate passing, but maybe it was the right call. All right, so drum roll, please. Um, so it looks like ultimately we were nipped out for top overall and top in our direction by that pair who were just in three spades double making five. So that's pretty tough. It would have been nice to uh, to beat that, but uh, sometimes you come up short and we came up short and uh, that's pretty sad uh, just because we finished so strong, but our beginning was so weak that uh, ultimately we didn't have enough. And it did come down to the last board. Uh, it was very close. Had, uh, even if, I guess even if they're not doubled, they're still going to take 200 on the hand, which is going to be a lot better than us. Did they make six there? Was there a misclaim? Did I miss something? Oh, hang on. Uh, South roughed the seven of hearts with the king of spades. Oh my gosh. And it made six. Remarkable. Uh, yeah, so um, that is not the best defense against three spades doubled. Uh, not doubling three spades doubled is the best defense against three spades doubled. But uh, we got nipped out there, uh, I think, fairly. Uh, we played well in the end, but we didn't play well enough at the beginning. So um, you can't win every game, and we lost this time. It's okay. We finished with our 62%. That's our Thursday night game. Thanks for watching.
Um, I will see you guys hopefully on Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, where I'm streaming basically the same game against basically the same opponents with basically the same partner unless we change our system in the next two days. And hopefully we'll do just a little bit better and sneak out that W. All right. Have a good night.